What's going on guys? Attica from the Attica World Network here and this is actually going to be somewhat surprising news for you dudes and for other guys it's going to be like well duh. Super Smash Brothers for Wii U set a new record today. You could call it a world record if you really wanted to sound that elaborate. Smash Wii U is the fastest selling Wii U game ever. It beat out Mario Kart 8 and I was actually a bit surprised by that because there was a lot of hype and anticipation for Mario Kart 8. There was a ton of pre-orders for it, but Smash Wii U managed to come out on top. So this is actually really interesting when you compare the numbers to the 3DS version. But for now, let's see through the article, let's just see some highlights and whatnot. So it is official. Super Smash Bros. for Wii U has become the fastest selling Wii U game in the history of the United States. <laughs> Alright, alright man, you know, we get it bro, I'm in the history of the United States, holy shit, it's, it's real serious, it's real serious over at Nintendo News, but yeah, so be sure to mark that down on your On This Day in History binder. Super Smash Bros. Wii U sales soared to nearly half a million combined copies, digital and retail, selling more than 490,000 copies from its debut on from, Ninten from November 21st to November 23rd. Nintendo announced this morning via press release. So, the 21st to the 23rd, Smash Wii U sold pretty much 500,000 copies. Pretty strong number there, and that's just the opening weekend. Earlier this month, Nintendo of America President Reggie Fiamme said Super Smash Bros. for Wii U pre-order sales surpassed that of Mario Kart 8, the previous title to carry record-breaking pre-order sales numbers for the Wii U. By comparison, Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo 3DS sold a combined 705,000 copies during its first two days in the United States. Can you imagine what Super Smash Bros. Wii U sales would be if Ridley swooped in to join the battle? You're rubbing salt into the wound, man. You're rubbing salt into the wound. Let's just leave this where it is. Really isn't in the game. I'm okay with how he's included. Sakurai gave him special treatment. It's okay. But anyways, these are actually really big numbers here. I mean, 500,000 for just the first two days the game is out. You can't really ask for anything better, but there is something better. Now, earlier in the article, it mentioned Smash Brothers for 3DS, and it said that it sold a combined 705,000 copies. My friends, that was the number for the American release of Super Smash Brothers for 3DS. And if you need a refresher course, Smash Brothers for America and all other regions came out on October 3rd, but Smash for Japan for the 3DS came out on September 13th. In Japan on September 13th, when Smash Brothers 3DS came out, it sold 1 million copies on the first weekend. That's two days. Smash Brothers for 3DS in Japan sold a million. Clean. Boom. That's crazy. And, and the article right here, I mean, this is um from IGN, you know, this is official, you know, I I pull these numbers out of my dick hole. These are these are legit. I mean, so. What does this tell you? That the Japanese have a fetish for Smash Brothers? Yes, but it also tells you that Smash is an amazing game that had a whole lot of hype. And, you know, I'm actually a bit surprised because in comparison to Pokemon, yeah. Smash Brothers numbers aren't as strong. Pokemon has such a fucking massive fan base in terms of people that buy it and whatnot. I actually have to look this up right now myself, too. Let's see what the ORAS sales numbers were for Pokemon. Um, Pokemon. Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire sales. Let us search Omega Ruby sales. I want to see this for myself because that's one thing that I peeped when I was looking at the sales numbers from before. Pokemon crushes Smash, even though Smash is not small in the slightest. But um, let's see. I want to see some sales. Oh my God! Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire sell three million in three days. Holy shit! Smash came close. Well, no, they they didn't come close. They they they, they did really well. But you just can't be out Pokemon when it comes to sales, man. I'm sorry, Pokemon delivers hard. Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire sales passed the 3 million mark within just three days of going on sale, with the handheld title still to release in Europe. The exact number sits in the region of 3,040,000, with half of those coming up from Japan alone. <laughs> Holy crap. So you know, but even, even right now still, even though Sakurai, he busted his ass, he actually still got some pretty good numbers. I mean, Smash Brothers for Brawl, it kind of didn't really do anywhere near as well as any Pokemon game that had come out within the same time frame. But I mean, Smash Brothers now, I get, I'm guessing just because of all the hype online and people like me who managed to scream their heads off at a character being revealed, 
helped to make the hype for Smash really there. And you know, I guess Smash isn't as much of a broad range of game for a lot of audiences and age ranges as much as Pokemon is. Still, I'm really happy with the numbers that Smash has. It sold 1 million in the first weekend in Japan, and that's in comparison to the 1,500,000 that Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire sold the first weekend in Japan. So, not bad at all, Sakurai. My daddy's working. My daddy's definitely working. But, um, yeah, guys, so what, what do you think of these numbers? Are these higher than what you expected? Or did you expect more from it? You know, I mean, I don't know. I kind of I kind of wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting 1 million from 3DS version to be the first weekend number. That's really strong in my opinion. And 500,000 for the Wii U for the first weekend, that's not bad either. I mean, the Wii U is not a console that a lot of people have, you know? So, it's good to see that it made that many numbers. So, I want to hear your opinions on this whole thing, and I'll be replying in the comments with this article. I really want to see what people kind of have their heads out with this whole thing. So I'll talk to you dudes in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.